Hey everyone, K0 here, and I have a very special video for you guys today. I'm going to be doing a product review, uh, but first I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing, and then uh, later on we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the product. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button. Now I have here something very special. It's something that I, it caught my eye uh, when I was scrolling through Facebook. You know, you get those ads, and it looked a little uh, unique. It looked very interesting. So uh, I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and, and check it out. Um, these are essentially motorcycle shoes. They're shoes specifically for motorcycle riders. Uh, they have a unique uh, gimmick, I should say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start unboxing this, these bad boys. These are Rome. I think that's how you say them. Rome shoes. All right, I haven't looked yet. All right, so packaging seems to be, you know, kind of standard packaging for any kind of shoe or sneaker. Uh, I wear a size 11, so um, I'm not sure how these are gonna be sized to fit. Some companies are different. I've never tried these. Uh, these are actually quite expensive. Uh, so it's kind of a risk to just pick a size and hope for the best, but that's what we're here for. The paper insert, ooh, immediately. Oh boy, yeah, these look these look really good. They look a lot better than they did in the ad. Uh, but immediately see D3O armor protection. Uh, let's take one out here. Ooh, very nice. Okay, now this seems really, really sturdy, especially the uh, the bottom of the shoe here and it's got uh rome on the bottom very grippy very nice uh the ankles don't they don't seem like they have a lot of protection as far as you know in case for accidents that's really something that you want to plan out is in case you have some sort of accident and as a matter of fact uh, as a matter of fact here are my normal riding shoes. Uh, they're kind of faded a little bit and there's a little bit, there's a pad right here that is very, very tough and rigid in case you have an accident and your, you know, your, your ankle tends to go that way. There is a little bit of a bend, but there is protection for uh, your ankles there. Here, I don't feel so much of that padding. It is a little stiff. I think maybe that's what they're hoping for as far as the padding goes, but I like, I like these, I like the setup. And of course you have a strap here and I believe this is essentially to protect the shoe from the uh, shifter. So when you're shifting up it, you use this part of the shoe so you don't ruin the actual rest of it. Now, the reason these are very unique and special is that they light up. Now this isn't like your LA gear or those little Chinese knockoffs that you see uh, kids running around in. These are actually tuned to your brakes and your turn signal. So when you hit the brake, they light up red and they'll hold as long as you're holding the brake. And then when you use the turn signal, as long as it's on, they'll flash again, just like a turn signal. So that'll be interesting. And it's gonna be an interesting setup because uh, the tutorial goes over a normal motorcycle uh, of course, I have a zero, which is a little bit different, especially uh, battery-wise. Um, I don't. I went over the video a couple times, and I don't think you wire these to the battery. I think they simply wire to your brakes and the turn signals. So that should be definitely doable. Uh, we have a little booklet here. Yeah, these are installation instructions and basically how to operate it. Uh, looks like they provided us with an awesome sticker. Okay, and then you have. Oh wow, I guess these. this is what charges it. I believe there's supposed to be a control box of some kind. Is it in here? Yep, there it is. Here is the control box. And basically you have to wire the ground, brake, and turn signals using this little controller here. Uh, so this that'll be, again, interesting. Uh, this looks like it's completely handmade. It's not pumped out in a factory, it doesn't look like. So. As far as initial impressions go, they look really good. They feel very sturdy. Uh, here's what comes in the box. 
you basically have the charge cables and connectors and it's it also works as a zipper or is that just kind of like their thing that's really neat actually that's a really good idea you zip it oh okay i see it so what you do is you zip it down so right now it's just one unit but that's cool you zip it down you can plug in the shoes at the same time <laughs> All right, I'll give you points on that one. That's pretty. That's pretty good idea. I like that. And then you have the control box, instruction manual, sticker, and then of course the shoes. Again, the styling I do like. It, it pops. The red pops on the black. But I think, and you can kind of see through this a little bit on the inside. You can see the light strip right there, and you see the wiring. So again, this will be really interesting to test out. Are these worth it? Uh, the, the investment for these is essentially $300, but it's something that, you know, now that I'm riding motorcycles, it's something that I wanted to go over. I didn't see a lot of videos on these. I didn't see a lot of information on these. It was basically just from Rome themselves. Uh, I tend to do a full and extensive review on these. And at the end, we're gonna find out, hey, is this worth it? Should I invest $300 into a pair of shoes that blink and light up? We'll see. Let's find out. Safety, the most important thing to riders aside from gear, mods, and turning heads. You've got jackets, pants, helmets, gloves, and the subject we're talking about today, shoes. What's in a shoe? The idea is to be protected. But most shoes only give you a high top with D3O protection. Don't get me wrong, D3O is fantastic. But you would think with all the high vis gear out there, they would put something in shoes to make you more noticeable. Right now, what we mostly get are variations of black and tan. They look great, but miss a crucial safety feature, visibility. It's why a lot of riders get reflective tape, high vis, or lighting kits. We want to be seen at night and not just to look cool. All right, mostly to look cool. Along comes Rome, a company devoted to your safety and to make sure you can not only be seen, but to help communicate your intentions to those around you. This is my review of the Rome riding shoes. Let's talk about comfort. The main reason riding shoes are worn is for protection. You got armor and several materials that combine for a rigid but safe experience. But there has to be a level of comfort. What if you go for a ride, don't bring an extra pair of shoes, and you end up having to do a bit of walking? I wanted to find out for myself. When I first put them on, they felt really great. So I used these as a daily driver for a whole week. As insane as that sounds, they really did hold up to the task of comfort and style. Walking in them feels normal and doesn't feel like a typical riding shoe where it's stiff or it bunches up. These honestly feel like a premium shoe with the added benefit of protection and safety. But let's get to the real reason you'd grab a pair. Let's go for a ride. Riding in these feels great. The comfort I talked about earlier makes these way easier than any other shoe I've tried, which makes you focus more on your movement. Whether you're flat foot, tippy toe, or leaning on one leg, you have that pliability and super grip of the soles on your side. You combine that with the D3O armor protection and you got everything you need for a safe and comfortable ride. Let's talk about installation. Installation was straightforward. Rome provides a transmitter box and a manual with a simple and straightforward guide on how to install, pair, and charge the shoes. I do have to note that my wiring experience will be different from yours. My Zero has a wiring diagram online, which I used in conjunction with Rome's manual to get my wiring done. Hey everyone, uh, I'm at the wiring stage right now. Now, I don't want to really show this because I don't want people to get confused and look at this and try to install their uh, control box from the Rome shoes the way that I'm doing it because the Zero is completely different from a normal bike. It's actually a little bit easier, I'm finding. So uh, this is the setup here. Um, it's basically like these little connectors. Uh, and what's awesome is that if you look in there, there's a little metal part and that's actually the positive like connector. So all I have to do, honestly, is take the wiring from this and just wrap it around the inside there and then just clip the connectors back together. Uh, as opposed to the Rome installation video where they want you to like cut wires and, and all that stuff, I don't actually actually have to do any of that. So it's uh, turning out to be pretty simple, straightforward, 
<clears throat> right now I have the main power, the uh, tail light, uh, the brake light, I mean, uh, and I'm wiring up the right turn signal now. So hopefully this should be pretty done soon and I got the shoes charging right now. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. I also have to mention, Rome has a tutorial video on their channel, which I've linked below. Although I do want to say that in their video, they suggest soldering the wires. I don't agree with this. Soldering, in case you don't plan on keeping the transmitter box permanently installed, would be a messy solution. I would suggest tightly wrapping electrical tape or shrink tubing for a cleaner, less permanent solution. Now to the main event, lights. How effective are they? I recorded footage of me riding during the day, but unfortunately it didn't show up well with my setup for the daytime footage. But to the naked eye, the shoes were very visible, even in the middle of the day. There were multiple instances of drivers around me that were not only noticing the shoes, they were doing double takes and taking pictures. But nighttime riding is the real star of the show here. The lights basically turn into bright beacons that immediately grab your attention. Just like during the day, people were looking with curiosity in almost a wonder-like gaze. Only this time, it was everyone having a look. As you can see, they are brilliant at night. Like high-vis or LED kits, these are an extension of being proactive for gaining visibility at night. I purposely wore my all-black riding jacket and my riding jeans to demonstrate that. Even if your only investment to riding visibility at night are these shoes, it's a great investment. Just based on how great these work at night, I highly recommend the Rome Zero shoes. Now let's talk about some negatives. It's clear that while the styling, lighting, and D3O are on point, there's something to be desired when it comes to the ports on the shoes. They're kind of open, you can tell they're not mass produced in a factory, and that they were handmade. While that guarantees function, I still wish they were a little bit more stylish and straightforward. The notifications for battery level are just the shoes flashing a set number of times, almost randomly it seems, or when plugged in. It would have been nice to have a set LED to quickly check, especially when you're riding, to see how much battery life you have left. Lastly, charge time from 0 to 100% is 5 hours. This seems a bit excessive, although I attribute that to the brightness of the lights, so I'll give that a bit of a pass. Now battery life, in my experience, is around 4 days. Now keep in mind that I'm limited to the range on my motorcycle, so the range limit is a factor into uh, this observation, so I had to estimate with multiple rides. Now let's talk about the positives. The charge cable. I know I mentioned how much I appreciated the charge cable in the unboxing, but it really is cool. And the fact that you get a two-in-one cable to charge both shoes at once is a nice touch. They could have easily thrown only one cable or none at all, but they threw in a dual cable with a cool little function. They're really, really easy to put on. That may not seem like something as a, to put as a talking point, but my other shoes are a pain in the butt to put on to take off, so having an easy time putting them on gets me riding faster. And as mentioned before, the comfort and attention grabbing lights that lead to more awareness is a major plus. Rome has created a product that for all intents and purposes saves lives. There are a lot of discussions about safety and whether it's effective or not, but these shoes, there's no discussion. If you want to be seen, be safe. Protect yourself or stand out they will get the job done. Yeah, from all angles, it looks like a cheap gimmick, and in some ways it is, but when that gimmick means protecting yourself and potentially saving your life, it becomes a function and a worthwhile investment, which in my amateur but honest opinion is worth your attention. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out this review. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. 
A big thanks to Rome for making such a great product in the writing space, and thank you to my wife for helping me record footage and for all her support in making of this video.